Sure. So right around 10 o'clock this morning, we received uh, information of a uh, situation going on at the condominium complex. Uh, officers, upon arrival, found a, a gentleman, and I'll have to refer to his name, Rene Escobedo Baldit, born in 1971, resides in Bradenton, Florida. He was deceased uh, from what was uh, appeared to be severe upper body trauma. Uh, further investigation uh, led us to a gentleman by the name of Jesse Hernandez, also resides in Manatee County. And um, through interviews, we determined that Jesse Hernandez had actually killed uh, Mr. Baldit while they were working. So the short story is they were on a uh, scissor lift painting the condominium complex. Don't really know what led to it, but Mr. Um, Hernandez stabbed Mr. Baldit uh, and subsequently killed him. Um, right now, detectives are working to determine motive, uh, reason why, connections, anything like that. That's where we're at right now. But we, we can definitely confirm that he was stabbed and that they, they were co-workers working together at this job site. Was he arrested at the scene or did you have to go find him? He was arrested here at the, at the BPD main station. And what was the name of the company that they were working for? I don't have that information. Were the two men on their lift in, in the air at that point or were they on the ground? We have confirmed that the incident began in the air while they were working and then Mr. Hernandez lowered the lift to walk off. So the victim did not fall out of the lift? The victim did not fall out of the lift. Is it, was there an argument? Obviously there was an argument. That's, that's still what we're trying to determine what drove them to this point. Um, we're, again, we're working through, we have several witnesses that were in the area. We've, we've interviewed some witnesses, just trying to put the stories together before we confirm whether or not this was a dispute that led to this. Did you say whether they were employees of the company or just day laborers? Uh, I don't have that information. I, I believe that they are employees of the company, but uh, unconfirmed. Did the suspect walk into the Bradenton Police Department and turn himself in, or how did he arrive here? The suspect actually called uh, 911 and, and basically turned himself in, and we met him about halfway between here and the condominiums. And so he was obviously being cooperative? Yes, uh, to a certain extent. He, is, he was um, transported to Manatee Memorial Hospital. He did have some injuries on his hands. They took care of that, and he has been transported to the Manatee County Jail. Charges are pending. Obviously, we haven't locked down exactly charges yet. We're working with the state attorney as we speak to determine what charges uh, to go forward with. Was the, that, uh, the weapon, who owned the weapon? Um, the, the weapon was in possession of Mr. Hernandez. What was the weapon? The weapon is a knife. Is he, is he being reluctant in telling you what the dispute was about then? Uh, I, I'm not going to go into the full details of the, of the interviews or, or that, that part of the investigation. That's coming. Um, but, like, again, he, he made the effort to call 911 to say what happened. He walked and met us. Up to, up to that point, that's as far as I'll go with, with, the, with the information. But he did provide a recorded interview to the detectives? Uh, I won't comment on that right now. He, we, have, we have statements, and then we have he, – he, he stated enough – to tell us that we had the right guy in custody. Does he have a previous criminal record? I don't know that answer. Were there any other people around the area that you've interviewed, Chet? Yes, we, have, we do have several witnesses that were in the area at the time it took place. Do you know the relationship between each other? They're not related or in any fashion? Don't believe they're related, they're just boss, co-workers. Boss or, boss or co just fellow co-workers. Do you know how long they've been working together? I don't know that information, I'm sorry. What are the charges right now? Uh, we haven't determined yet. Uh, that again, we're working with the state attorney and our detectives. That's that's what they're doing as we speak to come up with the charges. I will hope to release that to you this evening before before we call it a day. Um, as far as the knife goes, it was just a regular knife. It wasn't a pocket knife, fixed blade. I don't know that. All right. If they were acquaintances outside of work, like did they live near each other? Are they friends? That's what we're working on still right now. That's that's. That's still part of the, the building of the, the lead up to this. Um, I will say, you know, we always ask for the public's help. You know, once we, especially if we put a booking photo out, we put a victim's photo out, uh, you know, we ask for anybody that may have any information to come forward, you know, and, and, and help us with that. That's, that's what we're building right now. So. Pardon me. But the, the, uh, the scissor lift was outside the building, not inside. Correct. Yeah, they were working on the exterior of the building, uh, the condominium complex there. And to clarify, they were both on top. They were both in the in the scissor lift at the time of the incident. Yes. Okay. And at the time of the incident, as in the argument that ensued, or the actual assault. The, the actual the actual stabbing took place on the scissor lift. 
we, we, we can't confirm that. Okay, I saw there's a, a large crime scene. What, why is the crime scene so big? It, just as in any crime scene, you always go further out, further out, further out until you know specifically where it took place. That's just us being cognizant and, and doing our, our due diligence to make sure we cover you know, every single facet of that, that location until we have everything we need to, to conduct a full investigation. So the stabbing happened up in the air in the lift. Correct. And then they brought it down? Correct. And was the body on the lift still or was it on the ground? It was still on the lift when we arrived. How many times was he stabbed? I don't know that answer. Multiple? Um, uh, I would say multiple. He was, it was definitely a severe trauma, uh, but again, to confirm if that's what killed him or not, I don't know. He was stabbed. He's been transported to the medical examiner where they are doing an autopsy and they will confirm the cause of death. Was he dead by the time the first officer arrived on scene? He was deceased upon arrival, yes. You, have, you may have given us information already, but do you know have the ages of the victim and of the uh, alleged? Yes, so the victim, excuse me, is 49 years old and the suspect is 41 years old. And was the victim, was he married, family? I uh, do not know that answer. Sorry, there is family. Next of kin has been contacted. I, as far as marital status, I don't know that. So what's next? Uh, we, we build the case. You know, we go back and we try to figure out what caused this, and then we, we work with our partners at the state attorney's office to build a good case and uh, bring justice for the victim. So, all right, thank you very much. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks. All right.